Why hello there guys, it is Quaddy Afro here and I'm bringing you Wild Ship Simulator. Now, if keen-eyed viewers would have realized that this logo looks similar to European Ship Simulator because this is technically European Ship Simulator but it's sort of the successor to it. Basically, to cut long story short, European Ship Simulator came out, and I remember when I started doing videos on it like a year ago, it came out in early access. And it was in early access for quite some time, and it was getting developed nicely, it was going along, it was a bit of a slow play, a pace, and uh, I made some videos on it, and I was like looking forward to seeing what this could actually turn into, and what kind of game it can turn into, because we really need a kind of like new modern ship simulator in the kind of simulator genre kind of... Uh, uh, market essentially and uh, like things like ship simulator extremes just were it's too old now and just they've just been left abandoned while this uh, Excal uh, Excalibur publishing came along and actually introduced this European ship simulator which was like kind of like hopefully bidding to be the new kind of more modern ship simulator to add there to the kind of Euro truck to the train sim to the OMSI you know to the FSX or whatever because we really kind of need a ship simulator in this kind of genre but uh, it kind of failed. It released in like such a bad state. It was just basically not finished. It kind of they, they kind of released it and said, "Oh well, this is the full game. We're just gonna try and maybe add some updates to it." And they kind of just kind of failed with it, and uh, it kind of got forgotten. And then I was wondering, they they had an announcement that they were gonna move the engine. It was on Unity Four, I do believe, and then they were gonna move it to Unity Five. And that kind of, you know, got forgotten. And then basically they came out with an announcement about a month or two ago where they were going, we're just going to cut a clean slate here and we're going to rebrand the game and come out with a new game, World Ship Simulator, which is right here what I have for you, which is now started off. It's not the full release game. It is early access again. So we're going on this bandwagon again. And I hope this one will be a bit more of an enjoyable ride because all the users and stuff from European Ship Simulator get this for free. So that's a that's already a step in the right direction. We don't have to pay again for it. So hopefully this turn round will be better. And so far, I don't know, from what I've been hearing, it looks okay. They're kind of, you know, they want to do more things with it. They're, they've included already what they want to do, like a day and night cycle. They've improved the water graphics. Uh, one thing they've changed, which is probably the most drastic change, is that they went from a non-fiction map world or whatever to a fictional world which kind of I don't know kind of well the thing is the fictional maps in this game will be based on real ports so technically they are real ports but they're not because they're just based upon and so it's in a fictitious world fictitious is that a word I don't know. fiction it's in a fiction world it's not real so I kind of a bit, that's the kind of only thing I've kind of a little bit uneasy of thinking about because a simulator is supposed to simulate kind of real kind of things. I know kind of like Euro Truck obviously isn't to scale, but it still simulates kind of real locations and stuff. So I'm wondering why they didn't just go down that road instead of actually saying, okay, this is just going to be fiction. It's not going to be, you know, real kind of ports or whatever. It's just going to be based upon real ports. But I don't know. This game could go in so many different directions. I just hope this time it at least comes out of early access whenever it does. I think they say they want at least like a year or something or six months, I can't remember. But I hope it comes out and it's more solid than it was for European Ship Simulator. I think they just kind of went with that and everyone was kind of on the wagon, on the bandwagon for it, for like the hoping that it would be a good Ship Simulator and then it just kind of got forgotten. I hope World Ship Simulator becomes the kind of Ship Simulator that we've been waiting for. It's a new developer now. Uh, still Excalibur Publishing is the one that's publishing the game, but I don't I can't even remember the name of the new developer, but I don't think it's fully the new developer. It's definitely a new set of people, but I think some old people are still working on it, but I just hope this game becomes like more of what European Ship Simulator couldn't become. Anyway, enough of me rambling, that's just an intro there. I will, if you guys want me to do more videos on this, please you know, show your interest in the comments down below. Uh, I definitely got some good interest from European Ship Simulator, so hopefully we can get World Ship Simulator, like that kind of interest, like before. Shoutouts, before I get into the video, go to The Online Gamer and Rogav R, if I'm saying that right. So The Online Gamer and Ru or Rogav 
Gav, yeah, Rogue Gav R. The links and stuff will be down below. And uh, those were the shouts. I'll also leave links to the Wild Ship Simulator store page and forum, Steam forum page, so you can keep up to date with what's happening with this game. It kind of also got slightly re delayed on release, so I don't know. I don't know if it's fully ready, but let's see what we're working with. So let's make a profile. Enter my name, so Quarty Afro. That's not you spell Afro, there you go. Choose an icon. Um uh, well, uh I'm just gonna pick the compass, the compass one's pretty nice. Or even no, I'm pick the compass, the compass one suits me. So we already have to build a profile, which is something different from before, before you just came into the game, pick the ship, go. That's essentially what happened. But this is pretty nice. Uh, pick a profile. So they kind of implanted more of a career system, which is pretty cool. So we're here on the main menu. Let's look at, look at the options, see what we have here. We have a bit more advanced graphical options, which is better than before, because before we just got like high, medium, low. So you can have it, you know, full screen or windowed, resolutions you can change. They have like, uh, between graphical settings, you have fast, fantastic, beautiful, and good. I think I have it right now on B fantastic, I think. Anti-aliasm is medium for me currently, but you can change it. Special effects, I'm just left on, see what it is. Ambient occlusion, uh, well, it's just left it off, off for me, but I, let's just leave it off and see how, what happens. Let's also lower the, the music a little bit, because it is a little bit... A little bit intrusive. Uh, yes, I do. Well, actually, no, this music was alright. But hopefully that will come back on. But those were the options. Uh, controls. I don't know if you can assign any kind of controller to it or whatever, but you probably can. It would be good. Uh, I do believe there is a ship kind of controller like they have for rail driver, but there's actually like a ship driver or something like that. But, you know, maybe in the future it would be cool to have some like, kind of like, you know, you can use a controller or whatever with it because it would be nice. Advanced settings. Advanced quality? <laughs> uh, ocean quality. I'm going to put that on high. I want to see how, you know, fog is on, ocean reflections on. That's good. Oh, you can even change the max view distance. That is pretty good. And that can actually, like, the, that can actually help your kind of graphical settings and get you better FPS, I'm guessing. So I'm going to apply that. Right, and I think that's pretty much it. Uh, what's this? Insert promotional code to unlock special bonus. Oh, so they're already starting with the promotional codes and stuff like that. Anyway, let's create a new game, because you guys obviously want me to get into the game. I've been rambling on, but, you know, this is the first video of me showcasing World Chip Simulator, so I'd rather show you what's what instead of uh, just, you know, diving in and just, like, we're not knowing what we're dealing with. Do you want to play the tutorial? Why not? I haven't played this game before, I've played European Ship Simulator, but I'm, this is the first time I've gone into World Ship Simulator. Anyway, do you want to play the tutorial? Yes, we do. So, controlling the cam- oh my god. <laughs> controlling the camera, not camera. <laughs> uh, to control the camera, hold Control Orbit, uh, default the right mouse button. Okay, and zoom in and out, that's pretty much self-explanatory. That looks all good. Uh, okay, that just disappeared. That's uh, great. Moving the ship. Uh, to move the ship forward and back, uh, hold the positive throttle. So W, S, uh, turn ship is uh, D and A. Yep, we know. Uh, be, please be aware when you turn the ship, it doesn't turn on me. Yep, that's good. That simulates all the kind of stuff. So let's increase some power and see how this actually looks when it keep good it goes. Oh, they've done it a bit like um, Ship Simulator Extremes, where you have you have to hold back engine and lock. What does that do? Lock. Oh, so you can lock the engine at a specific speed. Oh, moving the ship. Also, uh, you can also control the ship manually, controlling each of the engine panel. Uh, by dragging the mouse wheel left and right. Okay. So essentially, you can, you can. So it, when you press W to go forward or S to go like in kind of reverse or whatever, it will basically once you let go of the button or like you know when you're turning here when I'm holding A all the way, 
and then when I let go of A, it goes back to just neutral. If I want to like keep it turning at a certain direction, I would turn it a bit, and then I would lock the wheel. I'm sent yeah, so I just lock it, and then it just does that. That's a little fiddly, I have to say. That's a little annoying. I actually prefer the actual controls in European Shit Simulator where you just turn and it kept that position or you put the speed up and it turned that position. So that's a little annoying, I have to say. But I'll work with it. Let's see where it can get us. Okay, let's try and do a mission. Usually the missions require you to go through some interest waypoints. Interact with the objects like fishing for spots, blah, 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 the mooring. The possibility, the possible waypoints are green, area where you need to pass through, orange, the area you need to moor while in it, pink, area you need to stop at, red, area you need to drop a toad object. Right, try passing through the green waypoint. Okay, let's lock the engine speed. This boat actually doesn't go that fast, I have to say. Okay, let's start turning, because... Completely the wrong way. Oh wow. That should hopefully do it. That's really sensitive the way it, it takes so long to recover the time. Can we go into different camera views or are we just going to have to, we could probably have to do the tutorial this way. And then once we get there, it'll show us. Yay, we can go into different camera views or whatever. Because I don't think I can... Ah, there we go. There is helm view. Things are... I, I, there's something weird about the graphics. It looks a little grainy for some reason. I'm not sure why. And I can't seem to move in this in this camera. I can now move while... W okay, I'm an actual person. That's also another thing. Uh, and you actually have crews that are, you know, on board your ship or vessel or whatever. Did I just see a loading stream for going outside? That Okay, that's crazy. Right, how do I... How the hell do I... Can I go... Oh my god. Can I get the control... Oh, there we go. You press C. Right, interface tutorial. Uh, you can also guide yourself on the mini-map. It will also show nearby mooring spots in this panel. You can use uh, to see other info by pressing the other mode buttons like speed information. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, that's that's cool. Mooring. To complete the mission, to enter the and enter the harbor, you will need to moor the orange waypoint. To do this, enable the mooring system by pressing the button on the right side of the screen, then click on the blue spot on your ship and the desired green spot on the harbor. The anchoring system and towing system work similarly. Try stopping at the orange waypoint uh, and to do the mooring to end the tutorial. Uh, where is this we're going to? <laughs> uh, oh, I see it over there. This this tutorial box is pretty... It obscures your vision. I don't actually want to think about this game so far. I feel it's a little bit clunky in a sense of uh, usability, if you know what I mean. It's a little odd. Like, it, it's 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 similar to European Ship Simulator, but it's drastically different. And I don't know if it's in a good way, because I feel so far it's been really clunky. I don't like these lock and unlock controls. I feel that they're just unnecessary. I like the, the, the controls in European Ship Simulator. They were perfectly fine. Uh, the water animations are much better. That's one thing I can give uh, praise to. The water control, water animations are much better. You get the foaming and stuff effect, which we actually didn't have in uh, uh, in European Ship Simulator. Texturing is alright, nothing special. This is a very interesting place to moor such a small boat. Right, uh, take engine of lock. 
Why? Wh what? Okay. Weirdly, my my uh, my uh, steering control just locked up all of a sudden for some reason. Can I just? I wish it. I wish I had thrusters. Okay. Uh, okay. Mooring. Uh, okay. So they've left the controls like that, similar, which is good. Uh, by selecting this, yes. What? By selecting yes. Okay. Yes. Uh. Yes. Good. Okay. We've we've we're done. We're good. Think think that all went well. I'm just still trying to process uh, what's going on here in this game. Uh. Wow. Okay. So we're basically. This feels a bit like World of Subways now. We're just like in our own little. I guess harbor office. Uh, okay. Oh, we can run. Can I talk to anyone? When the first person mode, you can unlock. Press. Uh, you can unlock by press Q to unlock your screen cut. Oh, that would have been handy to know when I was changing cameras when I was driving the uh, when I was sailing the uh, boat. Well, this all looks fancy, but what, what's what's? Oh, we have an engineer guy. Okay. Uh, but I'm not really. Uh, I don't get this. I'm I'm not, I'm really not like I'm. I don't actually know what to think of this. Like, this has kind of now been done a little bit like how TML Studios did World of Subways 4, where you have this kind of area, which I think with World of Subways it works perfectly because it's all integrated together and it's done much better, but this just doesn't feel right. Like, what the hell? You just have a woman pacing here in a pink shawl or whatever? Right, let's get out of here. Wait, do you want to exit the harbour and enter free row mode? Uh, okay, let's do that. Okay, we're in the middle of no. Like, I don't get where. What, what's happening? What am I supposed to be doing here? So I'm in the middle of the harbor. Where do I go? <laughs> would be a good. Would, would be would be a good thing. Do I have to advance channel exit menu cancel? Um. That's interesting. Like I've seen also here at the bottom, we have ship damage, which is nice, and fuel and sea depth. That's an interesting uh, thing to to have. Uh, no, that still just does that. Um, I don't. I don't actually know what to think of this. I'm. I'm a little bit overwhelmed with what I've what I've actually witnessed and what I've just played. Um. This fog is terrible. It's not really like why is it foggy all of a sudden? Okay, I'll, I'll probably never know. Uh, I guess we go back to the, to the, to the to the to the harbor. But this is so odd. Why why am I being thrown out here to? You know, go back again to the harbour. That's so odd. Like, surely if I was at the harbour, I would just go back to my boat, which is, like, should be moored right there where I moored it. Like, what? Anyway, let's uh, just keep that unlocked while we're going back to where we came from. Uh, let's just... Let's check out the uh, camera angles again. So we have the foot, we have that, we have this view. Which, weirdly, you can't pan around in most of these views. That's a bit annoying. Uh, cinematic mode, I'm guessing, which moves the camera by itself. And you can't pan around in it. Nope, can't pan around in it. Uh camera mode which can you pan around nope can't well you pan around but you can't move around you'd think 
Oh. So when you let go of the camera, the boat just moves. But when you click back, it goes back to it. That's a really odd camera. Uh, let's go back to helm mode. I'm a bit annoyed that you can't move your head around in helm mode. That's really annoying. And these... What the hell's up with this with this splash mechanic here at the front where you're just getting these white... It's like a, like a sprinkling of semen. Just like, you know, just... Like, what? <laughs> anyway, this is... The walk around... Okay, let's forget about the walk around. Go back to that. I really hate this lock and unlock feature. Right, that's that, that's just a bit. That's a bit extra, and it's a bit annoying. That's really clunky. Like I prefer the controls in European Ship Simulator. This is somewhere where they've actually gone back a direction instead of forward. Uh, right. I'm just gonna moor it like this. I can't be able to get any closer. Um, and why does one mooring line mean I've moored the whole boat? Why can't I do two? Oh, this man, let's just go back to this harbour and just work out what the hell is here. So that goes back that goes back out to the to Rome mode where we just get thrown back out to the sea. This guy appears not to This guy appears not to do anything. Uh when you're at the harbour you can take missions, buy ships, but so we apparently can buy ships and stuff like that. Let's go to this woman. Uh, Hello. Hi. Um, mission. Uh, go fish at each fishing spot near the cargo and moor at the mooring spot. Maximum time. Okay. Fishing boat. You know what, guys? I'm actually going to leave it there for the first video. Uh, and we'll get on to doing some missions in the next video. But so far, I'm a bit... What happens when I click you? Hello. Okay, so he does maintenance. Okay, that's quite nice. You can get like a list of boats and stuff like that. One thing I find annoying is that you can hear the sea waves slashing about in the background. Like, why? I'm not nowhere. Like, I'm near the sea, but you know. Hello. Oh Jesus! What? These cost fortune. How much? Mo I don't even have any money. So what, right now in the game, there's the port boat, sport boat, car carrier, hovercraft, and the tugboat. And it appears I'm going to have to play this game to actually even unlock them, which is annoying. I wish there was actually just like a free play mode where I can just play my damn ships. Uh, and that appears to be it. And it appears to be night. Which actually, to be honest, the sky looks pretty good. Oh, I just noticed when you when you look at the sky, it zooms in the sky. But when you look at this tree, it focuses on tree. That's quite nice. But these textures are shocking. They, like, what what kind of harbor office is this? And why are there just people walking around? Like it just feels like some weird insurance company's like hostel. I don't even know. But anyway, let's just go back here. Oh wow. So this is night mode. Uh actually no the sky doesn't look too good now when I look at it. Looks a bit pixelated. But that's nice that they have the night mode here, but I'm a little bit I don't even know I don't know what to say actually. I feel that this game has gotten worse. <laughs> I don't know what to. I actually don't know what to say. I feel that this game has actually gotten worse. Okay, so that highlights there. Is there any kind of lights or stuff I can have? Because I can't see shit. Really? So there's no. I can't believe that there's a loading screen for that. That is just uncalled for. Don't I have like a flashlight or something? Because I can't see anything. This is terrible. And aren't there any kind of like lights for the boat? Hello. What, 
hello, I don't even know what the hell you are doing, I'll just throw you overboard, you're just pretty much doing shit all. That loading screen, dude. Okay, during the night you can turn off the sh uh, ship lights default L. Okay, then maybe I have to be on another camera. L. Ah, there we go, we have some light. So now, if we go back onto walking mode, oh, that's much better. Ah, so the switch was there. I just couldn't see it. Um, ooh, the FPS drops. Ooh, the FPS drops when it's night time and you're looking at the sea with a, with a flashlight. Jesus. Anyway, let's just go back onto the... That's not too... Mm. So... I think I'm gonna wrap this first video up. I definitely want to try and I have to try and soothe into this game a bit and uh, kind of get used to it because it's a bit overwhelming. It's just it's kind of hit me like a truck in a way because I just wasn't expecting this, and I don't know. My kind of initial verdict is I feel that this game has gotten a lot worse. I actually preferred European Ship Simulator, the way that it was kind of structured and the way it was heading, but this just feels like we've gone a, f a few good steps backwards. Like, I'm just... Like, first of all, the controls are just not good. Like, lock and unlock? Are you serious? Why couldn't you just leave it how it was before, where it just, like, it, it hold the position where, like, you know, I press W and the speed increase, and then if I let go of it, it would keep that spe uh, speed, and then I have to lower it with S, and... The steering as well, like, why has it been done like this? Graphically, um, I think the water is slightly better. Uh, the animations, well, this white sperm of, like, splashes is not cool. The foaming is alright at the back, and the detail of the boat looks alright. I feel that the cabin has gone a little bit bad. I feel that this is slightly less detailed than it was before. European Ship Simulator was far superior in terms of detail. This all feels slight. I don't. It has this weird grainy effect as well, which I do not like. But yeah. I don't know, this is rather interesting. I'm gonna just uh, main menu it. Anyway, um, that was so far World Ship Simulator. I hope you've enjoyed it. I think it kind of still needs to grow on me. I think we need to get into the missions a bit more and just see how it pans out. And I hope that this game gets heavily updated because so far, la launching into that, I feel that this is a much worse game than European Ship Simulator, in my opinion. Just of the usability of it and the actual playability of it, it just felt, it didn't feel right. Like, European Ship Simulator worked, at least. It, it, it was, and I feel the graphics were slightly better in it. The water in this game is slightly better, but I felt, Euro I feel like European Ship Simulator was, was better than this, in a way. Well, so far, I hope like I, I can get proved wrong and this can update into to be a better game. But so far, I'm not really liking. I like that they've entered, uh, they've added this kind of career kind of thing, but launching into the harbor station and uh, the harbor port where like you just have random NPCs walking around and I I don't know. It felt like as I said, it felt a bit like a copy of World of Subways Four. But the thing is, World of Subway Four works like that, and it works better. But this just felt so clunky, and like, I, why is there no kind of free roam mode where I can just have all my ships and just you know you know drive my ships, see what ships are available, like in European Ship Simulator? While now I have to, you know, do all these missions and get money. But as I said, this might change. I might. This might this game might grow on me, but so far initially I'm a little bit overwhelmed, and I think I'm gonna you know cut the episode here so I can take a little bit of a breather and maybe come back to it when I can do more eventual videos. And tell me your thoughts down below, and 
I'm probably going to keep going with this uh, with this uh, with this game and do a few more videos and see how it goes into. I'm curious to see. Even if you guys might not like this, and I, to be honest, it is a bit of a step down from European Ship Simulator, but let's see where it goes. I'm interested to see where it's headed, and uh, I don't know. I'm just uh, wow. Uh, World Ship Simulator, interesting. I wouldn't say it's totally crap, like you know, but a bit overwhelming is is the main kind of thing it's just it's drastically different from european ship simulator and i don't think all in the kind of right possible ways so yeah uh that was world ship simulator guys my first video on it i hope the eventual you know videos that lead after it will be better and i hope that this game slowly grows on me if it will get better in terms of kind of like playability because so far i'm as I said, I'm not a fan of the controls, the lock and unlock system, no. The camera views are a bit weird, like the helm view you can't pan around with your head, it's only stuck in a like fixed position. Uh, the loading screens on the walking camera where you're going out through the door and you have to have a loading screen for that, really? Even though it's like a brief one, two second thing, it's still a loading screen. And I don't know, the crew member, I don't know, the whole kind of thing where you can see your hands and that, that doesn't really bother me too much, I guess that's fine, you're a person, you know, you're walking around, the crew members, well that guy didn't really seem like he was helping out, he's just standing there doing piss all, uh, I don't know, we'll have to see guys, I, I'm going to be really curious to see how this game develops and I hope it can get to where European Ship Simulator couldn't, but so far I think we're a few steps behind in this initial early access release but again this is early access so it can all change but i'll be definitely doing some more videos of this so keep tuned on my channel even if you guys don't like it i'm going to be doing a bit more content on this because i want to do something with ship simulator i love ship simulator i'm probably even gonna to have to do something with ship uh, ship simulator extremes at one point but i want to see where this goes and i'll just update you uh with more videos of just going through the missions and stuff but this was my first look at uh ship simulator a uh, world ship simulator and uh yeah Tell me what you think in the comments. The shouts for this video go to the online gamer and Rugav R. That's again the online gamer and Rugav R. The links and stuff will be down below. Show them some love. Other than that, I will see you in the next video. And hopefully the next World of Ships simulator video will be a bit more comforting. And it will uh, be alright when we start doing some missions and see how that kind of fares out. But so far, uh, a little bit uneven with this. But hopefully you can get back. I hope you guys have a lovely day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. We ain't